Okay, we're going to get a start on the top. Here's the PVC board. We have a uh, seven and one quarter inch by eight foot. Have two of those, and one of the three and a half by eight foot PVC boards. And it's three quarter inches. It's actually measured in millimeters, so it is a, a hair short of three quarter inches. So you can figure that in with your cutting such as that, but it's not enough to really measure. It's like the thickness of the line on the tape. So anyway, we're on with this. Um, this is the this is the situation here. We have a back board and the two sides. Be one here, this is end view, and uh, in the end, the front side. And here's the glass. Now our glass size is again was <clears throat> 34 by 76. And as I explained earlier. Uh, when the glass is tilted up, the distance between here and here decreases, so it figures to 33 and 13 16 Now, what we want to do is take off the inch and a half on each side of this. We come off with the one and a half inch from uh, 33, and we get the uh, 32 and 5 16 So that's what will be the size of the cuts of the 7 inch boards. And here I've listed the cuts to make off of this uh, PVC board. We need two of the seven and a quarter inch boards cut to 32 and 5 sixteenths. We need one of the seven and a quarter inch by 76 and one at three and a half by 76. The thrust of three and a half inch board. So we make those cuts and then we'll go into the angles uh, that are cut right here in the uh, uh, joining the boards. Thank you. Just a word on uh, going to cutting this. This PVC board, it's like nothing uh, nothing different from any other wood. You want to check it and make sure this is uh, square on the ends before you measure for length and make your cut. So this is uh, what came from the factory and it's out like uh, pretty good, quarter inch or more. Okay, so uh, just a tip on that. Do not assume that these uh, boards are square right out of the box, uh, you know, out of the store. All right. Okay, we've got our boards cut now to length. These are the two uh, sides. Here's the back, seven and a half inch, and the front. Now, here's what we've got to do right now is cut an angle on this board and the, the front and the back. Now, what this angle is going to be, they're, they're tight together right now, so just imagine they're the 30 some inches apart. And we're going to come here, we're going to cut a seven degree angle from the top of the back side which should be the side of the board is you know got the embossing in it to this one here is the is the front board and we want to take it from the inside edge seven degrees down like this so this makes matches this angle I'm not sure if you're getting this uh, angles with this camera I can't see for sure but that's what we're going to do cut those angles right now Okay, we have the angles cut on these boards here. You can see this one is down, slanted down towards the front, and the front slants down and out. So, taking this side right here is what we need to cut. So we need to mark this, the difference here, mark it right off of here, the down, the low spot, and come over here to the high spot, put a mark, and we're gonna cut this at this angle. And do the same for the other side, and we'll be able to fasten them. Uh, here we are again, assembling this board with the end grain, not accepting the screws. What I do is use these uh, anchors again, and if they have the uh, shoulder on them, which these do not, they're straight up. If they have the shoulder, you might want to have to cut that off so that this will go flush. Again, I'm going to put uh, some uh, PVC glue on these and put them in there. And so that the screws can be uh, screws can be put in. At this time, since we're going to have to put the trough in here, and on the back side is going to have a uh, external condensation chamber, I'm just going to I'm not going to glue them together permanently. I'm just going to screw them together so it'll be assembled. So right now, that's what I'm going to do: put the anchors in and screw it in uh, temporarily. The next project here is the trough. What I'm starting with here is a piece of aluminum trim coil. 
vinyl coated and we have on this side this will be the left side <clears throat> we start out with a one half inch bend down to one and one half inches get this back on there half inch bend down to one and a half inches and then a one inch bend up so this will be going bend down and up right here come over here to the other end this will be the half inch bend and this will rest this half inch bend rests on the PVC board in the front we go one inch down and one inch back up so that gives it a one half inch slant downhill along the run okay I've completed the bends on the trough we go there's the one half inch down one and a half and up one inch on the low end this will be the low end this will be the high end right here we're coming down one inch up one inch you see as this is nailed in still has enough room to miss the mirror it still will stay or the mirror it'll miss the glass it stays off the glass so that it doesn't contact the water as it slides down and the water will slide all the way down to this surface and drip into the trough and start us run down hell <clears throat> now what I'm going to do right now pick that back up what I'm going to do right now is hold this in place put this in place and I'm going to mark I'm going to mark this area I'm going to mark this right here for a location of the tube that I will drill into it I'll unscrew this and then drill the pipe into there and we'll take it from there all right you see I've marked the location of the hole and what I'm going to do here is this is the this is the top of it and I'm going to want this to come through right like that you can see how I've got it on the mark that comes through there the bottom of this will be cut out the bottom of this will be cut out and I'll show you how I'm doing that or how I do that and cut this out and it'll be a, a lip for the bottom of this to rest on as it sits in there it'll be a lip and then the rest of the pipe will come past the outside right here <clears throat> okay here's what I've done is on this location of the pipe took that point put it inside on the inside of the pipe right there lifted it up drew around and that will be the location of the tube the uh, drain tube drain tube right here you'll notice if you can see there's about one sixteenth of an inch between the tip of that and the ins outside edge of that. That's the thickness of that pipe right there. All right, so I'll take this board off, drill this hole, insert this, and continue with the insulation of the trough. Okay, here I've drilled the hole and reattached the pieces temporarily again to the side to the front. And here is how these, this looked in the end carved out and leave a little place on the bottom it's about a quarter of an inch about an eighth of an inch deep that I, when I put this in the hole here I can bring this out and then the trough when it's in place will sit right in that right in that groove and of course caulking will be around here all around and underneath I'll install a silicone underneath of the uh, the trough lip right here and then when we're ready to do the top we'll go on the top <clears throat> I'll put this in uh, and put nails in here little small brads just to hold it in place and these bad brads will be totally immersed in this silicone and removed from any capability possibility of rusting but I'll use stainless steel nails anyway besides that okay <clears throat> so that's what that is that will be fastened in another thing that I'm going to do here on this is I've cut a small little triangle piece and what it's going to do is this is going to mount 
right under here against the against the bottom of that trough to give it a little bit of rigidity right there and that will be glued on that will be glued on with PVC cement how did I cut that off? I just cut off a piece of the scrap PVC board and cut the very corner of it off and that's the piece that came off of there just a little small piece this end right here has support with the lip of the pipe that's coming out right there so this end supported well as I said be nailed and silicone in place right, after installing the drain port for the trough I've come here to the back and installed a fill port this would be the filling port and this is a vent port during the fill when you pull this off you want to fill it with water this will make the air pressure build up inside the unit you take this off and it will allow this to uh, let the air escape as you fill it because if you don't have any kind of way for the air to escape the air will press the water up and it come between the basin and this side and it will run out of the side when you're filling it so that's why I've installed this right here this is the vent port again this is the fill port you see the fill port goes around comes down I've put a one quarter inch piece of wood under the port under the uh, fitting at the bottom that's one quarter inch to the bottom of here and when this is sitting in the basin it will add another sixteenth or so for the, uh, the, the thickness of the angle alright so now again with this uh, fill port cap what I've done is I've put a one eighth inch hole and put a fibrous material in there such as uh, the landscape fabric that you use to reinforce the silicone and this filters out you can see it in there this filters out um, the bugs or anything like that and also allows for when when the unit heats up the air will escape out this port right here instead of again pushing the water up and out between the basin and the side wall right here so that's, that's the uh, installation of the fill port the vent port and the drain port for the trough